In today's video, we are going to explore famous Walt Elias Disney quotes about movie, cartoons, Disneyland, and business. Animation can explain whatever the mind of man can conceive. This facility makes it the most versatile and explicit means of communication yet devised for quick mass appreciation. Animation is different from other parts. Its language is the language of caricature. Our most difficult job was to develop the cart cartoon's unnatural but seemingly natural anatomy for humans and animals. Animation offers a medium of storytelling and visual entertainment which can bring pleasure and information to people of all ages everywhere in the world. At first the cartoon medium was just a novelty, but it never really began to hit until we had more than tricks, until we developed personalities. We had to get beyond getting a laugh. They may roll in the aisles, but that doesn't mean you have a great picture. You have pathos in the thing. Adults are interested if you don't play down to the little two- or three-year-olds or talk down. I don't believe in talking down to children. I don't believe in talking down to any certain segment. I like to kind of just talk in a general way to the audience. Children are always reaching. All cartoon characters and fables must be exaggeration, caricatures. It is the very nature of fantasy and fable. By nature, I'm an experimenter. To this day, I don't believe in sequels. I can't follow popular cycles. I have to move on to new things. So with the success of Mickey, I was determined to diversify. Childishness? I think it's the equivalent of never losing your sense of humor. I mean, there's a certain something that you retain. It's the equivalent of not getting so stuffy that you can't laugh at others. Children are people, and they should have to reach to learn about things, to understand things, just as adults have to reach if they want to grow in mental stature. Crowded classrooms and half-day sessions are a tragic waste of our greatest national resource, the minds of our children. Disneyland is a show. Disneyland is the star, everything else is in the supporting role. Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. Every child is born blessed with a vivid imagination. But just as a muscle grows flabby with disuse, so the bright imagination of a child pales in later years if he ceases to exercise it. Fantasy and reality often overlap. I am not influenced by the techniques or fashions of any other motion picture company. I do not make films primarily for children. I make them for the child in all of us, whether he be six or sixty. Call the child innocence. I don't believe in playing down to children, children, either in life or in motion pictures. I didn't treat my own youngsters like fragile flowers, and I think no parent should. I don't like formal gardens. I like wild nature. It's just the wilderness instinct in me, I guess. I don't want the public to see the world they live in while they're in the park, Disneyland. I want to feel they're in another world. 
I have long felt that the way to keep children out of trouble is to keep them interested in things. I never called my work an art. It's part of show business, the business of building entertainment. I only hope that we don't lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. I take great pride in the artistic development of cartoons. Our characters are made to go through emotions. I think a good study of music would be indispensable to the animators a realization on their part of how primitive music is, how natural it is for people to want to go to music, a study of rhythm, the dance, the various rhythms enter into our lives every day. I think you have to know these fellows definitely before you can draw them. When you start to caricature a person, you can't do it without knowing the person. Take Laurel and Hardy for example. Everybody can see Laurel doing certain things because they know Laurel. I try to build a full personality for each of our cartoon characters to make them personalities. I love Mickey Mouse more than any woman I have ever known. In our animation we must show only the actions and reactions of a character, but we must picture also with the action, the feeling of those characters. Laughter is America's most important export. Mickey Mouse is, to me, a symbol of independence. He was a means to an end. Mickey Mouse popped out of my mind onto a drawing pad 20 years ago on a train ride from Manhattan to Hollywood at a time when business fortunes of my brother Roy and myself were at lowest ebb and disaster seemed right around the corner. Movies can and do have tremendous influence in shaping young lives in the realm of entertainment towards the ideals and objectives of normal adulthood. My greatest reward is that I have been able to build this wonderful organization. Of all of our inventions for mass communication, pictures still speak the most universally understood language. Our greatest natural resource is the minds of our children. Our heritage and ideals, our code and standards, the things we live by and teach our children, are preserved or diminished by how freely we exchange ideas and feelings. That's the real trouble with the world. Too many people grow up. They forget. They don't remember what it's like to be 12 years old. A man should never neglect his family for business. The important thing is the family. If you can keep the family together, and that's the backbone of our whole business, catering to families, that's what we hope to do. There's nothing funnier than the human animal. Until a character becomes a personality it cannot be believed. Without personality, the character may do funny or interesting things. But unless people are able to identify themselves with the character, its actions will seem unreal. And without personality, a story cannot ring true to the audience. We allow no geniuses around our studio. We are not trying to entertain the critics. I'll take my chances with the public. We did at Disneyland, in the knowledge that most of the people I talked to thought it would be a financial disaster, closed and forgotten within the first year. We have created characters and animated them in the dimension of depth, revealing through them to our perturbed world that the things we have in common far outnumber and outweigh those that divide us. When people laugh at Mickey Mouse, it's because he's so human. And that is the secret of his popularity. 
You can't just let nature run wild. You're dead if you aim only for kids. Adults are only kids grown up, anyway. Disneyland is a work of love. We didn't go into Disneyland just with the idea of making money. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.